Hi, welcome to Market Update for February 11th. Well, between the horrible blizzard that they had out on the East Coast and the fact that we've got Chinese New Year at hand, we have got a very slow market condition. Of course, a lot of the markets that are being made on the East Coast are now looking at skeleton crews. And more importantly, a lot of the cash flow that normally would come out of the Asian time zone is now very much asleep with the Chinese New Year taking up the entire week. So where does that leave us? Well, it leaves us in a situation where we can do a lot of reflecting and maybe take Take a good look from 30,000 feet as to what's been happening to the market as of late. Remember, we've had a rally that is getting a little long in the tooth. We're rubbing up against some very critical areas of resistance in the S&P 500. But more importantly, we've got other indices that are making new all-time highs. It's really a question of whether we see the S&Ps and the Dow Jones confirm the rest of the indices. And more importantly, we see those also make a new all-time high. The other thing we want to keep in mind is the fact that we have got earnings season coming to an end. Remember, there are only 50 companies out of the S&P 500 left to report. Now, that also gives us a reason uh, to be able to believe that more than likely there's going to be a lot of reevaluation as far as what earnings were, not only for last year, because that is the final reading, but more importantly, what they are going to be forward-looking. And that forward-looking earnings number is where we see the repricing of equities and bonds. It's something that we're going to have to pay very close attention to. This is Jack Berugin from the CME Group in Chicago.